I've decided to be a part of the event again this year because it's such an incredible cause. We have so much fun uh, on, the, on the night. I first became involved with the Kids Undercover Copy House Challenge in 2016. It first started um, at the Moomba Festival here in Melbourne and we auctioned one cubby off and now we're auctioning five, which is fantastic. Yeah, I was really excited to learn this year after my sixth Cubby House Challenge that we would be leading towards uh, generating over $100,000. This year's Cubby House Challenge fundraising target is over $150,000. The $150,000 will help us build three studios and provide accommodation for three young people at risk of homelessness. It's been a joy to be a part of the organisation. They do amazing things uh, across Australia. Just watching the, um, the builders and the architects come together and seeing what they can create, it's really inspiring. More importantly, I think with the team behind us here, Grimshaw Architects and Warwick Builders, I think this year we'll take out the record. Grimshaw wanted to become part of the Cubby House Challenge uh, to promote a greater awareness of uh, youth, youth homelessness. So I think our cubby is, uh, is one that's quite interactive. I think the, uh, the, the movable blocks uh, which allow kids to create their own space is something unique. The, the Twilight Auction's changed a fair bit over the last six years. Uh, I remember the first one that we called was during the day and it was open to the whole public. At now it's an invitation only event. Uh, it's quite exclusive, there's an element of prestige about it. Auctioning a cubby is way more fun than auctioning a house. Um, it, there's a great atmosphere on the day, everybody's very relaxed, uh, everybody laughs at my jokes and the Cubbies are much easier to sell, usually the reserves are pretty realistic. Sam Rogopoulos has been fantastic. Um, I give him 10 out of 10. He always brings so much energy to our Cubby House Challenge auction. He's always so excited to be the top auctioneer on the night and we hope this year when he clocks over $100,000 for Kids Undercover that he will take home the top auctioneer award. I hope to be a part of the Cubby House Challenge for a, a long time to come and certainly I'll be back in 2018.